Welcome to Steno 24-7. This is Pittman's 5-Minute Speed Test. Selection number 2. Electric debenture stock at 110 words per minute. Literary at 110 words per minute. Ready? Let's write. Sir, all investors who are concerned with the adequate protection of the rights of debenture holders will be glad to note that at the meeting yesterday of the debenture stockholders of the South Metropolitan Electric Light and Power Company, the proposals put forward by the directors were defeated. A three-fourths majority of those present was necessary to carry the proposal, but out of the meeting of 17, only 11 voted in favor and six against. Further, I understand that had it been necessary to take a poll, the vote against the proposal would have been much more formidable. It is not necessary to go into the matter in detail, but approximately the director's suggestion was to bury the provision for the depreciation, which is at present is fixed at two and a half percent by the trust deed until 1923, so as to reduce this percentage to one and a half percent on the normal amount of paid up share and loan capital. It appears that the trustees for the debenture stockholders were not even consulted regarding what they have since described in the circular as an impairment of the security of the debenture holders by an amount which during the next eight years would reach not less than 40,000. Quite apart from the principle, that is a very important matter indeed. The proportion of the debenture stock issued by the company was increased by permission of the debenture stockholders, and by this means, the company was unable to avoid issuing a second debenture stock as the proportion of 100 percent. Debenture stock to the share capital is an unusually high one. It was particularly important that interest of the holders of the senior security should be fully protected as is done by the trust deed. At the same time, Mr. Benton hinted that there might be a basis for negotiation between the debenture stockholders and the directors as representing the shareholders. But the rights of the senior security cannot be diminished without some quid pro quo, such as higher rate of interest, a premium on redemption, or some definite sinking fund arrangement. If it is desirable, in the interest of the shareholder that there should be some modification of the depreciation provision in the debenture trust deed, then some compensation and other respects must be provided. I am yours faithfully, A. Brooker.